can we breathe? TEDx Dayton community. Think of your favorite creation. A book, a building, a form of entertainment. It all started from an idea, a whisper of inspiration, an expression of divine communication. Inspiration starts in the ether. It descends to your spirit, greeting you with the urge of expression. It engages you occupying your brain in every inch of your soul, growing beyond your control. And then it pops, bursting at the seams, released for relatable souls to convene, a bird call to your tribe, creating community. We hold the power to turn ideas into tangible things. Inspiration is infinite translation. Learn the language your soul speaks. Quiet your mental chatter. Search, search, search for meaning audaciously. Breathe in curated introspection on all four levels of your being. Allow authorized curiosity and questions to ripple, ripple, and two. Winds, waves that move the light. Winds that rush beside the water. Something unidentifiable rushes among the lilies, like human beings to some untenable end, all unrecognizable, unfamiliar. Because of these places, my hungry searches have grown to know and learn to become familiar with the imagination and the rough and rude images they tender, roaming the soul. These are the secrets I have grown to learn and become familiar with. It is this search which has led me into the veiled light and brought me to the road of thorough understanding and introduced me to the boundaries of riches that I was destined to know and to sing about all alone. So celebrate your findings. Embody your exploration passport. Transform unfamiliar perspectives into ideas worth spreading, worth spreading beyond the boundary of individualized perception. Our wonders, our wonders that will never be devoid of empathy. Dreams that can be awakened are the humanness of reckoning with the residue of living multi-perspectivity over and over again. A man. A man of money tells me that his wealth is his riches, but in the process he loses his soul. A father tells me that his family's his riches, for in turn it's food to the soul. While the homeless man says that's too many attachments, neither one no true freedom, so they're both foolish goals. I chuckle as I gain wealth, love family, enjoy my freedom, because for me this is moving my soul. And I'm sitting here looking at all these perspectives, and I'm like, I mean, who's to know? My coming of age is forthcoming. I am fully aware of all of my weaknesses and shortcomings. Life is a marathon. Until I see that finish line, I'm in this sport running. You either cut the check or you get the check. You tell me what's more cunning. In this era where more fathers only see their children during the court summons, it's so numbing. And I'm just sitting on this porch wondering. But unlike these poetic words in scriptures, the word ain't always gonna paint you a perfect picture. But you have to realize is that your aura is imminent, your energy is infinite. You have a right to write your wrongs from a song from your instrument. Ensure what you write with the pins and tents. Be unapologetic with your penmanship. Use purpose with every one of your sentences. And when I mention God, just know that you are a physical resemblance. I'm ready to crash a hundred miles into the reckless so that we can all become masters of understanding perspective. Understanding. 
perspective. Science has proven what we've intuited all along. Our hearts beat together in moments like this. We are one electric body. Our breaths, synchronized and vibrating, open us to the myriad possibilities of synesthesia. Our eyes hearing each other's internal rhythms. Our hands seeing the openness of each heart. We gather here year by year and celebrate our pulsing oneness. Imagine taking all of this into our streets, our homes, when you would look into one's eyes, really looked, would you see yourself in there? See your tiny reflection in their blue, brown, gray, green, hazel, amber eyes? Would you see lovelessness or love? Would you see you smiling at them, smiling at you? Your love, your child, your parent, your colleague, your stranger, your stranger, their eyes, your mirror, your eyes, their mirror. Imagine you speak slowly, breathing and gazing, synchronizing. Their eyes are windows too. Imagine if you blink, would you still be connected? The science says yes. Our intuition says yes. Our year by year by year experience says yes. We are one electric body. Together, creating community, connecting compassionately. Our hearts beat together. Our, Our hearts, hearts beat together. together. Our, Our hearts beat together. together. We sip on this living water of conversation and it brings forth life. It propels us past realms of anarchy and strife. It's in the exchange. But a certain level of maturation and dignity is required. Nah, 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 nah. See, it's imagination that is needed if it's something new that is desired. It's exciting. It's inviting to, to think a thing as if it were already so, to live beyond the moment, leap forward and let go. Ah, remember, it's in the exchange of ideas and in exploring glances. Pardon me, excuse me, what are you saying? Perform? Precisely. See, performers are given second chances. It's the beating heart that converses through the rhythm and drum of synchronization. This is the core of TEDx Dayton. It's an invitation to a never-ending conversation. So, who? would like to RSVP to change the world one idea at a time. <laughs> Precisely, I responded and I returned refined, thanking God for the space to heal the body, soul, and mind through our own voice and engagement. In this decade, we've been able to unmask, uncover, and reveal life humanity, and the power to heal by doing what we love and loving what we do. See, there's a thread connecting conversation and communication, and it's in diversity and inclusion, too. Go beyond what you feel, believing that ascension is real, for better is the end, for that is where the best begins. Remember, love transcends, and this is the next dimension of Ted X Dayton. Woo.